Okay, this is something interesting I found that I thought I'd share with you. It's about what's called the lattice rectum of an ellipse, and it's defined for you in terms of this question. So I put it up and I'll read it out to you. So you've got the lattice rectum of an ellipse, it's a chord that's perpendicular to the major axis, and it passes through one of the focus points. Okay, we need to show that when a is greater than b, the length of this lattice rectum is 2b squared over a. Now just to help you out with that, I've got a diagram. A diagram is always essential, I think. I find it really useful to be able to understand exactly what is going on. This is our lattice rectum there, okay? It's a chord, remember a chord is a straight line joining one part of a curve to another, okay? And it's passing through one of the focus points. I'll just put it here rather than there because as I've said so many times, I prefer it when as many things are as positive as possible. I'm a positive person and it also makes uh, it easy when dealing with all the algebra stuff as well. So that's our lattice rectum. The major axis, remember that's this one, okay, when it's actually stretched out horizontally, okay, it's more stretched out horizontally. Its length is longer horizontally than it is vertically, that's the major axis. And this always happens when A is greater than B. So you can see as a numerical value, A there is greater than B. If it was the minor if it was, this was the minor axis, then that would be the major axis, and we'd be looking for something similar but different, okay? Um, what we need to do is show that length is 2b squared over a, okay? It's quite straightforward, really. It's more like a simultaneous equations problem. We've got, on the one hand, the equation of the ellipse is this, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. On the other hand, we can work out the equation of this straight line. Obviously, we just need the chord, but in terms of the whole straight line, we can see quite easily that is the equation x equals ae because it passes through x coordinate ae and it's a vertical line. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute x equals ae into there. Maybe you pause the video and have a go at it yourself and just see how you get on. Okay, it's, it, it's a challenge in itself. Okay, there's a technique to it, but maybe just pause it and have a go. Okay, otherwise, you just keep on watching, of course. So the first bit is that. Okay, you substitute x equals ae into this here and then just simplify it a little bit so in your first simplification you might want to just put this onto that side and make y the subject okay and so then next we can just multiply both sides by b squared expand the brackets a bit there so you've got a squared e squared i'm sure you can see what's going to happen the a squared is going to cancel here we can factorize this as b squared one minus e squared and you can get up to that point there Maybe you got up to that point and then were a little bit stuck and you just started to play the video to see what's going to happen. Well, I'm just going to give you a hint, okay, if you want to work through it yourself. The hint is you need to use that result there. Remember that? For this particular case, when a is greater than b, you can use b squared equals a squared 1 minus e squared. Maybe pause the video and have another go. There's not much to it, as you can see. Okay. Well, from this, the 1 minus e squared, we can write that as b squared over a squared, can't we? So that's pretty much what I've done. So I've just rewritten 1 minus e squared as b squared over um, a squared by making 1 minus e squared the subject in this line there. And then you can see that will simplify to b to the power 4 over a squared. And then when you square root both sides, don't forget to take the positive and negative square roots, you end up with b squared over a. So what does that mean? What that means is that the y coordinate, remember that's what simultaneous equations are about, being able to find out what the coordinates of points of intersection are, the y coordinate of that must be the positive of this, b squared over a, and the y coordinate of that point must be the negative, which is negative b squared over a. And of course, you've got that is b squared over a as a length, that is also b squared over a. Add the two together, it's enough just to conclude then that the length of the chord is two lots of, twice, two b squared over a. Okay, I'm well, hoping you found that useful and I'm really hoping you found it interesting. Maybe I've introduced a new term for you, okay? An interesting chord term, but never mind. Have fun. Enjoy the rest of your day.